after I bought my horse bow, I was pretty much thinking I'm not gonna buy any more recurves. There's, you know, I'll start looking at more horse bows, the Turkish horse bows, and things other than my Korean traditional bow. And then wouldn't you know, on eBay, something pops up. Something I thought I would never find. I, I'm just gonna, if you watch my Browning Explorer video, you probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, on eBay, just like a week or two ago, and a Browning Challenge popped up, and it was like in immaculate shape, like a brand new one. And I just couldn't pass it up. And I was like, oh, come on, no more bows. And I watched it, uh, watched it for a week. No one bought it, it was buy it now. The seller reposted it and dropped the price like significantly, like a hundred bucks. All of a sudden there's nine people watching it. And I'm like, oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> and I just, I, I pulled the trigger on it. I had, I had to have it. Um, I paid $275 for it, uh, which is high for me um, because I typically don't try to go over $200 on a bow. But I did some research on it and in 1973 this bow sold for $158 or so, $157.99 and in today's money that's $900 it's over $900 so I thought you know what with the shipping uh, I'm paying one third one third of what the bow would cost today um, that would be brand new but well, we'll, we'll, we'll check this out together see how brand new this is See it already. Oh my gosh, it's incredible. Mm. <laughs> oh, you lovely little darling, you know what to do. on here which <laughs> no that shelf looks superb that looks nice that'll take a nice little rug rest the arrow will be flying nicely off the oh wow this this feels like it's brand new like yeah I mean if someone shot this they took really good care of it I don't think a rest is no definitely nothing was ever put on there so that's like Spotless. Yes. It's 50 pounds, 66 inches. Something I've noticed with the Browning bows, and I think this is the reason, one of the reasons at least, why they shoot so well. When the bow is unstrung and relaxed, it lays flat in the line. Like it's just like a straight line compared to some bows where you see that a curvature is still there. You still see the curvature in those bows. But then if you look at the wasp, it's like really flattened out. And the explorer is right above it. You see the profile of like how much flatter that is. Compared to like that or down there. Where those look like mustaches. I mean, I guess these could be mustaches too, but. Like, and typically, like the, the Explorer at 62 inches this has a calls for very low brace height compared to other 62 inch bows. Well, I mean, to me, this just looks like a large Explorer. That, that's why I wanted it so that it, it fits the profile to explore. It has the horns on the tips, like right here. And I've kind of like came to real, some realization where something to do with that design on bows, on longer bows, they, they shoot well, at least for me. Oh. Well, enough 
chit chat. Let's put the ringer. I've never seen this before. This is weird. Came with this weird little string dampener. It's rubber. barely shot or used or anything it, it yeah it freaking feels brand new this really does I mean, there's like no wear on the limb tip or anything oh yeah oh man this thing is like perfect it really is there's like no I can't even like really find like a scratch. A few smudges here and there. That's just from age, but wow. 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 Okay, enough to chat. Let's do it. <laughs> Start back at 21 yards, 22 yards or so. 